Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordam and we are going to continue our playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. So we have just reached the top of the Arcane Tower. Um, we defeated Bernard after giving, like, I guess an incorrect option <laughs> in his dialogue. We picked up the loot and we are just going to look at what we actually picked up. So Lazel picked up some potions of greater healing. Which, at this point, I, I really feel like I, sh I should start splitting. To, hit, to give two to everyone. And she can have the rest. Okay. So, you take two. Two. And two. We also reached our level six on everybody. And we also picked up Light of Creation. This is the weapon that Bernard was carrying. So, Light of Creation is a halberd. It has extra reach, which is quite cool. Small lodestones have been inserted along the halberd's shaft, a strange blue current running through them. It's a plus one weapon, but it has overcharge. It has a chance to stun the wielder unless it is a construct. I actually kind of tested a little bit and the chance was somewhat low. But if you do need to stay alive and you get stunned during a fight, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be very unhappy for using this weapon. In any case, it's a 1d10 weapon that has a plus 1d6 lightning damage. It's cool, but the downside of having overcharge really is not worth it, in my opinion. We also picked up a ring, which is the guiding light, which um, revealed this button here, basement. So I want to see what's in there. Oh. Okay, because I thought the basement was like the, the, the lower floor we had reached, but apparently not. Oh, okay. Some cool stuff here for Gale. More scroll of speak to dead. I just got the feeling that I forgot to cast Speak with the Dead. Oh, more spores. With someone. Heading I up. have a very vivid memory of this that I wanted to cast it on something, but I forgot what it was. Yay, my memory. <laughs> Featherfall. Okay. What else have we got? Nothing here, nothing there. More tongue. Ooh. More tongues of madness. What is that? Okay, I'm gonna leave this one for. No, no, no. I'm gonna pick it up right now. Staff of Arcane Blessing. So it's a quarter staff. Mistress Blessing. Bless grants an additional 1d4 to saving throws and weapon attack rolls and an additional 2d4 to spell attack rolls. My god! The... Oh, uh, wait. Because I prefer the one I have currently on Will and I prefer the one I have currently on Gale. I think this goes for her. Right? Now the question is, does this apply to any Bless spell cast or only the one cast from here? It just says Bless. Yeah, I think, okay. This could be an awesome, awesome spell, man. Or an awesome, awesome weapon, I mean. Soul coins, we already have it. A gilded chest. Ooh. The Sparks Wall. Spark Blocker. The weather cannot be electrocuted. Gains resistant to lightning damage. This can be very good. Probably something to give to Lazel. And the Hearst's Diary. The otherwise plain book has the words L.D. Hearst and Diary written on the front of the faded silver ink. Okay. This I'm gonna send to Lazel, I guess. 
Crisp cursive fills the pages of the diary, detailing the daily struggles of a cleric of Bistra studying the magical properties of the Underdark. The last entry dates back about 10 years. To Alturiak, 1481DR. Who would have thought three years ago that I would start a diary? Not a research journal, but a real diary. I guess when every soul is more like to kill you than converse with you, talking to a book starts making sense. And who would have thought three years ago that I would be called back to Baldur's Gate to confer with the other clerics of Mistra, right at the apex of my studies? I have all the pieces, but I have barely started my treatise. No matter, I will take my ring with me to show them a glimpse of the possibilities. I will leave you, my dear book, here, together with the rest of my research waiting to be finished. I should be back before next chess. LDH. Huh. He took a ring. I'm curious about this ring. Crown of Madness, Thunder Wave, goes for Gale. Best foot forward. Uh, I don't think I read this. Excavations of the Enclave of Naloth. Elminster said Naloth was a wonder to behold when it floated in Faedun's sky. He was surely right. This Netherese Enclave was once a jewel of the, in the Empire of Magic with towers that pierced the heavens. And yet it fell, just as all Netherese Enclaves did, crashing down when Karsus' folly ripped magic from the world. But even after it collapsed into the sea, its ruins still held a strange twisted beauty. I travelled here from Al Rua when I heard the sea had retreated and the ruins of Naloth were visible once again. Alas, I was not the first. Looters have stripped the enclave of its material wealth, destroying much of its esoteric riches in the process. I have found arcane books used to make campfires, their magic lost now to the ages. This is heresy, man. I have met some Shadowvar here whose interests align with mine, and we have agreed to search the ruins together. I am grateful for these allies. The ruins are mostly filled with thick-skulled adventurers, but I cannot shake the feeling that someone is watching us, waiting to see what we uncover. Hmm. Do I want to take this? No, not ping. No, ah, pick up. Okay, you are not encumbered. And where does this door lead? It leads... Wait. It still leads into the arcane... Oh. Oh, a lever. Okay. A secret room. Mm. Oh. Did I not pick this up? Interesting. Okay. So here I think I've picked up basically everything. Just a peek. Maybe not. Yeah, take all that. Rotten stuff. Okay, well, I guess we are done <clears throat> with the arcane tower. A very cool area. We're done with this. Uh, the tiny hole, I don't know what to do with it. Um, do I have a reduced person? Not here, sorry. Uh, you have my attention. Here. Here, here. Animal friendship, blah, 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 blah. Dark vision, dimension door. Teleport yourself and up to one adjacent ally to a place you can see. The ally can... Okay. Wizard level too low. Yeah, it's level 4 spell. Gust, haste, invisibility and whatnot. I have enlarge person. I can make someone smaller. New spell. What do you mean select variant? I had witch bolt. I think it's from from when I leveled up. Here. <clears throat> I guess we can try this out and see how it works. But I don't think reducing a person's size is going to be enough for that. Well, let's see. Immediately. 
probably would make sense to send in uh, Lazel in case something bad happens. She's the more resilient one out of the bunch. Ah, excellent choice. We'll see. I'm gonna send Will, just, you know, makes sense. What does this do? No additional benefits. Okay. Minimus. Tiny Will. Minimus. <laughs> Sharp as ever. The wall is riddled with Maybe holes. I can fit. A Reach. The passage narrows and bends. Aww. Becoming impassable before your even elbow. Okay. Well, that's not it. Charmed, I'm sure. Said Panda. Let's take this out and bring in a slow or a counter spell. I guess I'll take a counter spell. Although slow is genetically more useful. Maybe I can take out Thunder Wave and bring in Counter Spell. I do have a lot of level 3 spells now, though. Hmm. Well, still, we'll see. Okay, so this tiny hole... Can't do anything with it just yet. So I think the only thing left for me to do here is actually take the boat. But there was something I wanted to try, that's right. They talked about uh, making weapons <clears throat> with uh, Susur flowers as a catalyst. So I'm gonna pick one of these up and I'm gonna try something out here. Okay, so I want to go to the Blighted Village. And we are now going to go... Wait, where is my flower? What happened? Oh, a gossamer petal. All the remains of a susur bloom when drained of its energy as, or exposed to surface air. Ah. So I can't take it with me over here. Okay. In any case, let me see what I can do. What's this now? With those bits and pieces. Although now that I think of it... Well, first of all, this can go away. Oh, right, I did pick this up. When the weather inflicts condition upon a hostile creature, they also inflict two turns of reverberation. Hmm. What am I needed? God damn it, man. I don't have a good choice. Sharp as ever. Gale? Vaulting distance is increased. I guess I can give it to Gale. So, reverberation, what was this? They have a penalty to, to saving throws. And if they have four or more turns, it takes 1d4 and possibly falls prone. I don't think this is going to be very good, but I guess we can try. Why did I just gain an arcane ward? What the hell? That way. And what is this? Huh? Psychic missiles? Oh, not. But why is it here? Oh, this also casts magic missile. Okay. Very cool, very cool. Okay. I'm gonna quick save because I wanna try something out and I'm afraid I might break it. Because Will has. These pieces here. Oh, I can come. I'm so dumb. I could have just done this. Wow. Okay, I could have just done this. <laughs> A long time ago. What is that? Morning Frost. I like the, the, the wordplay there. So it's a 1d8 plus 1d4 quarterstaff. Heart of Ice. When dealing cold damage, the wielder deals an additional 1 cold damage. Insidious Cold. Dealing cold damage with a spell possibly inflicts chilled upon the target. It is a condition. Affected entity is vulnerable to cold damage and resistant to fire. Eh. 
It also grants the cantrip Ray of Frost. Okay, it is a cool weapon. <clears throat> but I don't think it replaces any of the weapons we currently have. Yeah, I think that's the main issue here. I would need other cold spells. Like Scroll of Ice Fan and whatnot. Ice Knife, sorry. Okay, well, never mind the forge. <laughs> uh, okay, so, Underdark. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I should be doing before moving on there. There's probably a lot of stuff I should sell, let's be honest. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> let's just... Oh, no, 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 there is one thing I have to do. Yeah, nearly forgot. In the Mycanid colony... There is one mic in it that we have to talk to again. Um, where is he? I think he's over here. Yeah, this one. Sovereign Glute. Sure, why not? Sovereign Spore has sung your fate. Mm -hmm. You will cleanse the Dwegar rot. I will join you. A bit late to the party, but I guess this guy could help us out. But yeah, the Dwegar are already, are already dead. I must see it for myself. Lead me to the rot. I wish to see it faster. He's kind of sounding a little bit evil here, isn't he? But sure, very well, you may join me. Remain in the Underdark, and I will follow. Okay. We cleanse the rot together. So we picked up a new friend. <clears throat> This guy, what does he have actually? Animating spores. Release spores at a corpse to animate a spore servant under your command. Cool. Multi attack. Oh my god. 2d8 plus 2d4 plus 2d8 plus 2d4. Uh, at, at a prone target. Still. This guy hits hard. Okay. Will you join me if I use a waypoint? Yes, he does. Okay. Well, do you see the rot? Do you see? Awesome. Okay, so something else I want to do here before I forget. Oh, okay. Give me just one second. I'm going to pick up a level 2 spell and a level 1 spell, I think. And we are going to have a short rest because we're out of everything. Lovely. Perfect. Yeah. And now we can speak. Quick save. The tumor is excised. The Dwega are dead. Here mm -hmm. I break ground. From the dark a mighty circle rise. My song will fill the grotto. Death to her. Mm. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. Yeah, figures. In the age of glut, there may be no spore. Eliminate the other sovereign. More intrigue. You turn on Spo, who gave you shelter? A fate it has earned. My circle long suffered while the Dwega flourished. <clears throat> I sang to Spo for help. 
Yet eat coward in the grotto and let my people be slaughtered. Choose smooth mind. Smooth mind. Help me grow a mighty circle and reap the reward. Or protect the precious poltroon. Whoops, give me one second, please. Come on, stop your speech. I'll be right back. Man, people ringing doorbell while I'm playing Baldur's Gate. Blasphemy. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So, he wants us to kill Spa. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to pursue this any further because I'm not going to help him. If you're so eager for blood, Glute, let, let, then let me give it to you. You shall never again know hope. You are evil, sir. What just happened? I think it triggered an attack of opportunity for some reason. <clears throat> yeah, attack of opportunity. Strange. Dice rolled again. Eh? I have no idea what's going on. Frenzied spores. Glute has increased hit points and strength. It has access to many spore spells. Ah, or to more spore spells, sorry. Yeah, we know about the multi-attack. Muscular, okay, and sun sickness. Right. I think I'm just gonna go for bashing the guy. Let's go for a bless as well. Because we have the new bonus here. Actually, let me use the one from the, um, the item. This one is... On a long rest, I guess. One, two, and three. Mistress Blessing plus the Bless. Okay, awesome. Um... Okay, maybe I'm seeing this wrong, but it looks like he cannot react right now. So I'm gonna move back. Yeah, okay, so he cannot... Strange. Does he just not have it? He does have it. Oh, he's weak to fire. Oh! If you are weak to fire, my friend, you are kinda dead. Do I even wanna bother with spending spell slots here? I mean, I guess. I can have a long rest after this. Okay, well, let's have a little fun then. How much damage can we deal with this? <laughs> let's keep in mind that the guy is vulnerable to it. I don't fancy their chances. Oh, now you can... Oh, what the hell. Okay, um, you can just kill him, right? 85%. Let me toggle this on here. 60%. But if I use a fainting attack... Dead. Yep. He was evil. So screw him. These go for Gale, take all of this. Oh my god, I'm encumbered again. Okay. <clears throat> I am gonna go to the Mykonid colony, see if the other um, sovereign has something to say about this. I am a little bit sad that I'm going to be losing my bliss spores, but, you know. Time for two. Peace bringer. Peace bringer. Be I have slain the creature called Glute. It was scheming to slaughter your circle. You are one with Spore. Your throat tightens, then relaxes. The air is serene, your mind untroubled. The songs we sing now carry your spirit. I first named you Peace Bringer. Oh! I now name you Kin Spirit. 
We friends. We are friends. Okay. Uh, let us have a long rest here. <clears throat> because I think we do need it. <clears throat> Go to camp. I would also really like to start dropping some weight here. Maybe just leaving the alchemy pouch. I think Thieves tools I can send all to Lazel. I I'm just carrying a bunch of boots all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> um, you gain an, 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 as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. Okay, it's gonna go to camp. I have a bunch of books that I think I'm also gonna send to camp. Each of them is half a kilo. Yeah, let's just... Maybe not this one that's orange. This can go... Yeah, all of these can go. A recipe is half a kilo as well. Jesus Christ. Okay, so all of... <sighs> the game just unmarked all of my choices. Wonderful. Okay, send to camp. 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 Okay, that's a, a big difference. These are also kind of heavy. Large bottle, camp. Bones, camp. Void bulb, camp. This can go to Lazel. A gold ingot. I'm not sure it's what it's going to be used for, so I'm going to keep it with me, I think. What does this have? A club. Okay, this goes away. What? Oh, okay, it broke the bag. Okay, that's fine. Rope is actually heavy. Camp. A lot of alchemist's fire. I don't think I need all... Uh, actually, let's just put this on Gale. Trap these arms are gonna go... Plus the basic poisons are gonna go for Lazel. Now she's encumbered. Awesome. Grease Bottle can go for Shadow Heart. Okay, this is much better now. Now, she can probably also just store a lot of things here. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay. This can be dropped. Now... A lot of crap around here. Okay, what am I not going to be using? I am not going to be using this, or this, or this. Let's just, let's just throw all these things away right now. Not away, but store them. Sorrow... The Sorrowful Lash is cool. I'm going to keep this one with me. All of this can go away, except that one as well. Great Axe plus one, Faith Breaker. Okay. So all of these, camp. Awesome. And at least for right now, we have some freedom to play around with the weight. Mr. Scratch, how are you, my friend? Patch. Okay, I'm not gonna make you guys suffer through the animation. Uh, my owl bear is nowhere to be found, which makes me very sad. Can I organize my traveler's chest? Oh, Jesus. I, I don't think I can. And I have a lot of stuff here. Oh, oh, no, I can, I can, I can. Cool. Sort by type. Okay, good. Alrighty. Let us have a rest here. Which is in the day. You have enough camp supplies to if you long rest. Yes. Huh? Oh, I think I just clicked on go to camp. You have something to say, lady. Find time for a chat. Ever since we shared each other's flesh, oh. I've caught you looking at me with lidded eyes. And either like a coward or a fool, you tremble. 
Perhaps the parasite has weakened you. Or perhaps... Perhaps you still long for my taste. Oh, my taste. Yes, I long for you, woman. I have been hoping we could spend the night together again. I never promised more than a night. Though I can't deny the lure of your taste. <laughs> Sweet, yes. But also bitter as ginger. Tempt me. Sometimes I imagine the voice actors reading these things and breaking out laughing. The sex gets better the more experience you have with someone. Deep down you like me more than anyone else here. <laughs> You are free to be with who you choose, but I hope you'll choose me. You read this all wrong. Nah. Go for this one. Like the shield bearer and pikemen must train to march their formation in tandem. Very well. I will, I will claim, claim you, you once you have taken to rest. Only if you promise to stick around for a cuddle afterwards. Let's just go for it. Good. Just like she likes it. Yes. Good. Good. Okay, well, say goodbye to Bliss Sports, my friends. I loved it, but the time has come. Actually, let me see if there's somebody else that wants to talk to me. Uh, no, you guys are fine. Oh, camera. Ah, ah. I'm needed. She's fine. Okay, they're fine. Whoa, 167 out of 80. No, that's way too, what the hell? How did that even make any kind of sense? <laughs> okay. Sure, that's fine. Lazelle appears at your bunk, her eyes raging with desire. Mm -hmm. I suspect you won't be getting much sleep tonight. Ah, okay. No animation this time. Um, <clears throat> let's get your armor. I'm still an enemy of justice. Man, this is amazing. I wonder if it will ever go away. Um, leave camp. It is time, my friends, for us to... T Can you give me some more of those spores, actually? Be at home... No. Uh, it is time to take a little boat ride. <clears throat> we have the boat here, Underdark Durgar boat. And let me get my friend here, the Imp. Mr. Imp can go invisible. Perfect. The pride of the gate. Let's go! A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Sail into the darkness. Human, what are you doing on Gex Raft? He's my friend. <clears throat> Am I getting boarded? Am I playing Pillars of Eternity again? Where's Gek? Who are you? Hmm. Oh, I can tell him that I have the boots. I can go for intimidation, deception, reach out to his parasite, or push the Durgar into the water, or just attack. Let's try and be deceitful. I'm afraid that if I go for this, he's gonna 
is gonna take away my boots. Maybe not. Let's see. I see the sergeant. I believe she's keen to get these boots back. Well, I'll be. You got them? The sergeant's been whining non-stop. What about Gek? Where's he at? He's dead. The mic and it saw to that. Come on. Let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of sure. it. Keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. And I will say, my friends, that from this point onward, everything is new to me. This, at the time that I played the early access, was the ending of, you know, the early access. There was no more. So everything's going to be new from here on out, and I am very excited for it. Like this fortress. I like it plowed sideways. We got a welcoming party. Do we? <clears throat> you shithead! Time you shut <laughs> up. We got trouble. Why is what? Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick. <laughs> Drug no. The twat soul caused a rock fall. Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Jesus Christ. Sup? Who's the whom, Grayman? Another slave for the dig. I am Lazel, daughter of Gith, defender of Vlakith, and I am no slave. Oh, you tell that him one's her. Thrin's gonna knock the snot right out of her. Yeah, we'll see about that. <clears throat> I'm a true. S yeah, these guys are part of the absolute cult. Yeah, I am a true soul, and you will treat me with respect. That's so. I. You feel the slightest of stirrings yeah, suck it, in bitch. your head. The Dwegar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. I'll be. You ain't shitting. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. You are kind of pushing it, lady. I'll take your head before you take my gold. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. Uh huh. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. I am keen to seven years head. <laughs> A shame we must do the favor of freeing him first. As for the gnome slaves, pay no heed. A bleeding heart is an unnecessary burden. Lazel, don't be like that. You are my lover. You should learn the ways of the good persons. I'll give you that. Okay, Morgal. Stone guard or... Uh, Orgarth. A grubby map. On one side of this page, a hand-drawn map depicts a northern grotto bordering the Ebon Lake. An attacker's account marks the other. One of the Drugning shrooms sensed us, to, uh, sensed us and split. Chunky one, too. Months were to soup, at least. The rest were too busy droning to put up a fuss. Near paces, and I'm bolting for a mantle Dereth. Tyrion's orders be damned. They got eel steak, mineral mead, and top land food of all sort. Clan can't live on fungus alone. Okay, understandable. And a battered note, which is where? Oh, here. Come on, let me click it. 
Hey, prickheads. Slave grub in the right barrel. Rothe chow in the left. Next of you shits I see flubbing it is getting a hot poker up the arse sideways. Trin. <laughs> okay. I like some of their... Their aggressiveness here. Both of these are kind of looking the other way, aren't they? They kind of are. Into the shadows. You won't deny me. I wonder if I can do this without getting spotted. Okay, nothing to pickpocket. What about on on this one? Can I do it? Okay, a smoke powder bomb is not too bad, but I'm not gonna risk getting spotted because of it. Okay. Sharp as ever. Donna. Heading out. A waypoint. Good. This is not counted as stealing. Awesome. Hello, Donna. Incredible stonework. Nothing like it topside that I've seen anyway. There's a Whoever bunch of people it, here. Mirthis. I can't focus with you breathing so close. Uh Okay. Stonemason sure. Gergeran. If you aren't here to inspect the stonework, then get lost. And if you are, well, I doubt you've got anything useful to say. Okay. How peculiar. Smooth face, cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. Eh? A sun dweller in these parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. Yeah, a rarity in the Underdark. Yeah, let's go for this one. A friendly welcome, a rarity in the Underdark. As rare as a smile in Shindlerin, you might say. But I've no skill for slaving. I prefer chisel to cane. I like you. But these learned eyes reach their limits. And so I must humbly request yours. Okay. Uh, what are you doing exactly? Peering into cracks and crevices in hope to find history's morsels. I have come up regrettably short. I hope you might see truths where I cannot. Hmm. Fine. What should I be looking at? The rock. The rubble. All of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. Tell me what you see. And be thorough. Okay. We have history, investigation, and perception. Investigation is the best choice. Examine the fallen rubble. Oh, I can all oh, it's per short rest. Ah. Let's just use this. Should be more than enough. Okay, I got I got lucky there. Boulders <laughs> and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor. Many split cleanly in two. Yet some walls remain fully intact. <clears throat> mm -hmm. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. What, like a dragon? What do you think? Oh, okay, I, I have other checks. Let's go for history. Assess the statue for technique and composition. Good. The statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. Two styles, two eras. The statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress. Anything standing out? I actually want to see this again, sorry. The statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathering... Okay. Two styles, two areas. The statue was carved from newer stone erected by late cameras from... Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try Perception. I will add Dark One's own luck. Plus 1d10. Not needed, but... Oh well. Several stones stand out in the debris. 
Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Hmm. I am ready to report my observations. Incredible. An entire history risen from dirt and debris. Picture it. An ancient city, hewn from the stone by disciples of Shah, later abandoned. Untold centuries later, a new tribe revives it. Fresh walls, fresh sculptures, until a great hell beast charges through, toppling the walls and crushing the people. <sighs> that explains the infernal plate mm -hmm. I found. Perhaps you might have used Ooh, it. Gimme? It's probably heavy armor, which will make me sad. But my work has only begun. There is more still to find. I must get to it. I like this guy. I would like trades. Well, let's see what you've got. Okay, what do you got? Oh, we got infernal alloy. Never mind. I thought it was a piece of armor. Conjure minor thing. Fire shield. Wreathe your body in flames that shed light in a 3 meter radius, provide resistance to fire or cold, and retaliate against melee attacks. The resistance part is the more interesting one. It doesn't seem to be a concentration spell, which is interesting. It's also a level 4 spell. Slow. Dark vision. Shatter. I think I'm good. That's all then. Okay. We've spoken to that one. Oh, Mew! <laughs> Incredible when I think of it. So many legendary Man, I want to talk to them. I have five potions. Okay, drink. I'm tired. Sleep. Rest, little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. Whose shadow? I heard his name whispered. The rock shivers from the sound. The Ketheric Thorm. Hmm. Ketheric Thorm? A familiar name. Halsen mentioned his stronghold deep underground. I guess he did. Do you mean Ketheric Thorm, the Dark Justiciar Commander? Hmm. Mighty elf, cloaked in darkness, ten masters ago, and ten more. But I remember, there was the work, and the blood. There was the Thorm's army. There was the hell beast that broke them. Okay, matches the up Catholic with Thorm's name what we saw before. Into stone until the near came. Near, I think, is a true soul. Impressive memory. How old are you exactly? I outlived my mother and her mother's mother and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live. Cursed to see many die. What kind of hell beast could have destroyed Catherick's army? I saw tusks and flesh, smelled fire and eggs. Oh, it came with the mask men, crashing and smashing. Is it a, a balrog? It was a long time ago. What does Nir have to do with Ketherick? I know not, so I say not. Yet I hear his name again, said by the shadows. Hmm. Okay. So I spoke to the deep Rothek Kalf, but I'm guessing this one was the one speaking. Afraid. Afraid of Thorm. Maybe not. Do not think on it further. Ah, okay. Hmm? Oh, are those two still talking? 
Okay. We have cabbages. We have a... Oh, nice. I will take all ingredients I can find. Skeletons. Interesting. Peculiar. Oh. Aw. It, it looks very cool, the piece of armor, but it, I think it sucks. 13 AC is too low. So, these are skeletons of those dark justiciars. As you look at oh. the skeletons, you realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Indeed. Dark justicia uniforms. These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Hmm. Let's not go like this. Whatever killed them made an enemy of a powerful goddess. Still, if whatever managed to murder a group of Sharans is still around, we had better watch our step. A fair point. Ooh. Dark Justiciar Helm. Swathed in shadow. While obscured by shadow, the, the wearer gains plus one saving throws when attacked. Constitution saving throws plus one. Okay. I don't really see myself using that very often, but okay. A wooden chest. Action, not reaction. No minor hindrance. Okay. Light crossbow plus one. Hardy but graceful. Oh. A fine crossbow. Made by Shah and Hands if my teachings keep true. Huh. Interesting. A mall also has the tenacity property. Which is fun. So, but is this just a plus one or what? Oh no, it's a Sharon crossbow. But it's just a plus one. A sleek well-made crossbow that is plain, but, a, but for the symbol of Shar on the handle. Hmm. Interesting. Peculiar. Defender All those things people. at once. So many containers to check out. La 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 la. Oh, no surprises. We are gonna open them all. La 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 la. All they have is crap. La 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 la. Best yep. Forward. All they have is crap. On Sloth, Gluttony, and Vice. The makings of seven. Endure, endure, endure. So commands Laduger, the Taskmaster. Endure. Cry it out as your hammer strikes rock. Endure. Shout it as your axe splits your enemy's skulls. Endure. Holler as your cane strikes your slaves' backs. Toil is our duty and our blessing. Toil is the reward we grant our sons and servants. Yet beware the great enemy of toil, the scourge that wounds us and ours, the tankard. <laughs> it is not only ale that pours forth from it, but indolence, gluttony, and the wandering mind. The drunkard is a clan's millstone, too heavy to carry, too idle to contribute. Cast him into the dark lake, let him sink to the bottom. And once more, call out, endure, endure, endure. I like it. Where is this going? This is going down. Oh. Pretty. A heavy, ooh, a heavy chest. Okay, maybe you can do this. Yep. Repositioning. La 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 la. Take heed. I see a trap. A trap, you bitches. Disarm. Fifteen. Twenty-five. What pick? Twenty-five again. What are the odds? Oh, the real Sparky Sparks Wall. <laughs> Lightning Aura. Huh? 
1d6 damage. Consume three lightning charges and release a blast of electricity damages and jolts nearby enemies. 1d4 damage each turn and cannot take reactions. Uh, right. I don't think it's very impressive, but I'll take it. Can't go further down. Nothing over here. Ooh, there's something over there. Yump. I am liking this area. So something broke through. Something that was that had something so hot that it melted the stone and killed the the dark justiciars. Wait, how did I even miss this? Dark Justiciar Mask, plus one to Intimidation. Cool. Okay, this goes for Will. Uh, I guess it would also go for Will. Night Singer's Reply. While obscured by a shadow, the wearer deals 1d4 necrotic damage to attackers that hit them with a melee attack. Eh. <clears throat> Not very good. A hero at all. Uh, uh, I mean, it's better for dialogue options. I do look spooky. But I think I prefer to have the option to go invisible when necessary. Everyone else has a helmet. Yes, they do. None of us have a cloak yet. Dark Justiciar's Journal. Cycle 40. I know it is forbidden to enter the Inquisitor's chamber, but I could not help myself. Has Master Catherick not commanded us to use every possible tool to best Char's rivals? Besides, if Sybil meant to keep the amulet a secret, oh, she would have hidden it better. Cycle 40 and 2. The amulet has give it, gifted me a power, an energy, heretofore unknown to me. I have never known such might and such cheer. I can barely keep myself from smiling, much to the other's chagrin. Sigh... Uh, okay. Cycle 45. It is done, thank the Dark Lady. Sybil ripped the amulet from my throat and cast it into the lava, having found me wrecked by laughter. The madness has lifted, but I do not yet know my penance. Sybil is not known to take pity on thieves. Some kind of cursed necklace, I imagine? Oh, help the cursed monk. What? Oh, this is also a quest. Baldur's Gate. Find the lost amulet. We read a journal of a dark justiciar. He mentioned an amulet of great power that also made the weather laugh. It was cast into the lava. And it's still whole? God damn. Find the missing boots. We should give. Uh, sorry. Uh, Tula gave us the boots, original. Uh -huh. Get cold died. We should bring the boost to the original owner, the Rugard Sergeant. We should give the boost to the... No, I'm not gonna give it. The Adamantine Forge. So, a group of Drow Wizards were looking for the Adamantine Forge, but they ended up fighting over the Forge secrets they each had. We learned that the Adamantine Forge is hidden deep within the Underdark. The Forge is protected by a Guardian who is weak to magma and some kind of hot hammer. To use the Forge, we need to place a Mold and Mithril Ore into their respective chambers, then pull the lever. I don't have one or the other yet. Avenge Glutes Circle. Yeah, we just killed him. And discover the history of Prince Orpheus. Decipher books about Orpheus. We read a book about the lost Prince Orpheus. It claims that Vlachith is not the true queen of the Gityanki and that Prince Orpheus is their true heir. Okay. Well, I guess this will be a good place to actually end our episode. Uh, like I said, all of this area is completely new to me. I've never been here. There's apparently a lot of stuff to find here. I don't even want to read it so that I don't spoil myself. And also more to explore over here. Okay, looking forward to it. Um, my friends, this will be the end of this episode. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you guys are having fun. Any questions, suggestions, you know what to do, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, 
consider subscribing for more. There are more videos coming out very, very soon. And it's also a free and easy way to support the channel. I hope to see you all in the next episode. And until then, stay safe, everyone.